Good day everyone, this is Armadani. Welcome to my first subsistence series. We are on episode six and I have absolutely no idea what I was up to before. Um, right, where are we? Yeah, we are smelting some iron, but we clearly need to let some power build up. I could put the generator on, but I'd quite like to use the um, free power that we've got available. Ah, now I was clearly going to make something because that looks... Oh, power storage. There you go. I... Oh, if it is power storage. Oh, it might be mass storage. No. Oh, I've got more things than I need. 1066, 1067. I think I probably... Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I think I probably just didn't have enough planks made okay so that's clearly what i was planning on doing next oh we got them all there look so let's put that lot in there because we need to wait for uh 500 and 100 okay so we need to get out in a belt out in a belt yes i still haven't worked out quite what to do with these stairs i have moved them oh it's a bit chilly i have moved them several times and still can't work out what to do with them. I think I've got a picture of, of where we might go with the base, but mm, it's a picture that keeps changing as these things do. Now, plant bed is sort of all right down there. I think I'll probably end up with some sort of a um, balcony all the way around the outside. So those will probably stay down there all right. I, I, that's right I remember at the end of the last episode I was pondering what I would be able to do with the ceiling and I don't think I'm going to be able to make use of these lovely ceiling pieces because if I do then I'm going to have to stick a flat triangle in here um, do we think that that would work so we'd do one of them and then it means we would do another one of those okay well we'll, we'll we'll have a have a look whilst we're waiting for it to warm up and see what happens with that sorry about the lack of episode over the last few days i'm afraid oh no i don't want the pistol i'm afraid real life has been um a little bit of a grind itself uh, oh look at that which we came down here um and yeah there were no wolves involved but it, it's definitely little, been a little bit of a, a a harsh time so yeah apologies for that right so having come down here look at that we have power storage the eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed i'm sure when i looked in the bcu that i had extra power storage but i wasn't paying attention so yes mass storage that's what we're waiting to make clearly so 666 i just obviously had more scrap metal on me than I needed so let's have a look at this then uh, 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 so you are oh don't do this you are there like that which means you would go there like that oh that looks a little bit odd how that's clipped is that right that can't be right surely oh is it because it clips in under Oh no, that can't be right. Really? Can I get around that if you clip it? No, surely not. Right, you can tell I haven't worked with these much. Uh, uh at all. Right, let's try and see if we can do this standing around here without... No, it definitely wants to clip to... There. Ah. Okay, I've never put flat pieces between these before people so you're gonna have to let me know in the comments is that how it's meant to look or is this one of those where I'm going to need to be above it in order to if I was above those two roof pieces could I put that in correctly um, I've put that in I'm gonna put things incorrectly that is not incorrectly uh, good job I'm killing time 
Uh, I've got to say a thank you to Arpeggio for um, uploading a wolf training video just for me. Um, <laughs> I, I love to say that it's going to make a difference, but I guess the day will tell. Um, I have paid attention and, you know, I'm going to do my best to follow the destructions. Um, uh, 21, let's take 21 of those. Uh, we've got a full clip in a little bit. And we've got... Yeah. Okay. We're not looking very good in terms of food and watery stuff, are we? Um, hmm. Oh, uh, do, uh, do you know what? Let's let's go back up and find ourselves a seed. What are we going to put in? You see, carrots. I think I think carrots at the moment are probably the best because you can pick them, eat one. Don't try picking it first. There you go. You can um, pick one plant, so you get three carrots. Harvest the three, eat two and turn one to seed and that seems to be a fairly good good return on investment. Right, let's have a look. We seem to have is that a potato down there? Oh, it's down there. Um, what else have we got? I can't see much of anything. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Remind myself, where are we on the map? Yeah, you see, I've still got this bit straight straight down the middle to get on with um, and around here so we could loot around here today um, and yeah I've got a big bit down the middle I don't know I'm not feeling the weather yet this morning so maybe we will stick around this is really quite chilly still yeah you see more stairs don't go all the way to the bottom um, so let's just turn it off a little bit so I can hear what I'm doing where did I see what I thought was a potato there you go and it was a potato cool a little bit of scrap yes I know you're cold but I really can't spend the whole day huddling around the fire so you're just going to have to get on with it need a bit of a loot day need to build up some protein so I could go down there and go fishing oh, let's pick that up first but let's just get a little look see what's out don't you move you mind need a little bit of breakfast and you're going to do so we'll just have a little look around <laughs> look the operative word oh it's a scrappy morning this morning okay not going to argue about that so what is in the immediate vicinity anything else i will just go straight back and cook that up but I also don't want to get caught following a loot trail that then means I am waste time running back to cook my chicken. Oh, that was a... Uh, yes, I know. Oh, no, hang on. Where are you going to go? It's difficult tracking the rabbits sometimes. Um, because they not only go very fast, but they're... I haven't yet noticed if they have a pattern with running off. Um, oh, botherations. Don't normally miss. Uh, arrow? There you go. Oh, gosh, you definitely missed. Right, well, we're going to count you as a lucky rabbit because I am going to have to go and do this chicken. Get that cooked up quickly. And then actually head out on a proper loot run, I think. Uh, 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 uh. Oh look, there we go. A bit of iron. Of course, having making the mass recycle, uh, the mass recycler. There you go. Shows where my head's going. Having the mass 
storage isn't necessarily of any point until I'm going to um, make some sort of mass recycling or generation. Now, I always tend to go for um, mass recycling. Personally, I don't have a problem with the idea of uh, um, yeah, going and chopping a whole load of wood just because I need the, the mass. I know that that's not how everybody feels. Um, I've been watching a few people lately who are more saying that they prefer to get a mass generator down. I have actually, I think, mass fabricator, probably only one profile I think that I've ever played where I've made one of those. I think in every every other one I've gone without <clears throat> and just stuck with the recycler. Was that a lot of power that you've got to uh, get up to to be able to do that? Hello, dear. I really do not have the health reserves to run after you. <clears throat> so you are going to be all right. It always takes that moment when you see the hit bar of the deer appear for my brain to register that is 80 out of 80, not 85. Oh, look at that. Two deers. Would you look, see? One, two. That's even more complicated because knowing me, I'd shoot one and run after it and then somewhere along the line end up running after it. Oh, and a moose. Goodness gracious me. And a wolf, of course. Oh, uh, really? Oh. Are we going to do this? Are we going to do this? Because I actually... Yeah, there's my crouch. I couldn't actually remember. Hey, come on, come back down. Oh, come on, come back down. Having decided that I'm going to go for you, can you just... Come on. Really? No, you see, now I'm going to chicken out. Let's go and find another one. I'm sure I'll find another one somewhere. Oh, look, there's another one. I didn't really want another one. That was just a figure of speech for the purposes of sounding good on video. Oh, and there's the weather turning that I thought was going to happen. Right, bears over there. I haven't got, oh, there, I was going to say, there's a crate. I couldn't find my normal three crates. Hello, Mr. Moosey, you're fine. Don't need to be panicked. I really don't have the uh, ability to take you on. However, once I have my shotgun, I have to tell you, I quite like going after moose. Though that's not as impressive as it sounds because actually what really happens is I quite like it when I know I'm near enough to the base that I can shoot at them and get to the base for the second <laughs> shots. <laughs> I might other game, other profile where I'm where we're here, where oops, sorry, where I'm sort of on the rocks there. It's uh quite helpful if, if you can shoot them across the water when they're on the other side of the lake because then when they if if you're in the step i'm probably said this before but if you're on steps going into the water for example as long as you are your feet are fully you know you're far enough down the the um the stairs when you shoot them the game mechanics thinks that you're not actually staying on a platform and therefore they will charge you whereas normally otherwise unless you're in moose season of course they would run away from you so i tend to try to use that against them and fire at them from across the water get them to swim 
Meanwhile, I go back up the stairs a little bit to a little bit more safety and then grab them as they continue shooting as they come across the water. So instead of shooting fish in a barrel, it's moose in a pond. Ah, not a bear. We don't want a bear right there. So let's see what we have. There's a carrot over there. Was this the bit? Yes, it's slightly to my left. However, I need to go over here. Where was the carrot? There was a the carrot. Uh -huh. Oh, there's a box up the top as well. This is what we want. And then... I need to get about making myself a lucky picky. I would really like to get myself a lock crate with some sinew in. It would be quite helpful. I could maybe get the chance to work on a little bit of power generation. I need a workbench, obviously, because I need to be able to craft. Oh, no, don't walk into the bear. Let's go around this way. I need to be able to... Oops make circuit boards so the workbench basically pretty much anything now that you're going to be doing is going to need a, a circuit board and if it's going to need a circuit board i'm going to need a workbench so that is a high priority uh this is a little bit dangerous yeah no that's okay right I need that power generation. So yeah, if I know that I can get a, um, some sinew, then I would be happy to get on with making the workbench and get myself sorted. How am I on everything? That was a seed. Yeah, that's all right. I'm not actually even. Of course, you know what I didn't do. I didn't drink any water before I came out. I, Really should have done that. I was just going to say I could have a protein bar in a moment. Just have a little peek ahead, see what's what. Oh, we have a wolf over there. Oh. Oh gosh. Didn't die. Oh. Didn't get infected. Didn't leave. <laughs> oh, the irony of a bloody liver when you don't need one. Um, well, thank you, Arpeggio. That went smoother than usual. Uh, I think one wolf does not necessarily mean that I have broken my uh oops nope can't get out there oh they are really broken the neck of the problem but that definitely was better than usual so i am going to take the win where was the other one is that going to be a leg breaker oops don't keep doing crouch Right, I think that we're going to stand back in the water and drink and possibly mosey back up. Um, well, there, that's wolf, boys and girls. I'm a little bit lost for words, which is not like me. 
so I'm also listening out. It's, it is definitely harder with the uh, sounds of the storm. Right, so we've got a bear up there. Oh, do you know what? I wonder, as I'm this near to this pond, which can be reasonable for uh, kelp and I have a liver on me I guess if we do this one first oh mind you I can't remember no I used all my medicinal tonics up didn't I nah okay well let's have a little look oh it's a good job because it doesn't actually seem No, don't. You don't hit jump, Annie. You cannot jump underwater. Okay. Yeah, I probably need to get some more wood as well. <clears throat> it's it's tough trying to work out how much time and effort to put into doing the base early game. Are you going to stay up there, Bear? I really don't want jumping on me. Because all the nails and cordage that you spend and stuff on building walls is not going into crafting other items. Yeah, it's going to be a long while before you see me always jump in for chickens, however good I get at wolves. Give you... Oh, and another bear. This is... A little bit bear heavy. And we don't want to get crowded with cats either. I'm not fully got fixed in my head where the cat is. I know it's over there. I know it's by sort of the, the bend in the river, the sort of plane up there. Oh, sorry, the, the plane up there. But I haven't necessarily got that the geography here fixed in my head. I don't really don't want, to be, don't want another wall. If I'm honest. Are you going to let me get by? I need to get better my sort of sixth sense for the aggro range for animals. Um for the walls particularly. I, I get the feeling it's changed. It seems like it's changed. I know Rabbit changed slightly with the latest update but I still don't feel that I've you know I, I think if you when you play this enough obviously you get a, a muscle memory. You, you don't really think about oh I'm too near or I'm too far. You just know. don't have those hours yet okay well it started off well the loot oh, there we go a little bit more As we make our way back. God, that's but ugly up there. Jeez Louise, I'm going to have to do something about that. Yeah, you see, I don't know. I suppose if I'm going to do that uh, roof piece and then a flat piece, uh, a, a flat ceiling and then the, the apex, then possibly I could put my power generation in on the, the flat pieces possibly that would work uh, have them all around in sort of a circle in an array Oops, a little bit of ammo thank you oh and there was a crate there. I thought I saw another one You. 
Right. It's just I don't want to destroy these stairs. Because I will need them at some point. I've got a sort of idea. Uh, let's, what did I do first? I can't remember, but anyway, the rabbit's dead, so that's where we go first. Okay, so let's turn this on now. Now we're up to 500. And get that going. Mind you, we said about making the mass... Oh, no, 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 we did say mass storage, but yeah, there isn't really any point. Unless I'm going to do either the recycler or the mass fabricator. Do we think that maybe that's what I should do? Oh, we need to turn that off in a minute. If we are. Oh, it's the leaves coming down. I keep thinking I'm seeing a rabbit or something going past in the background. Come on, cook, cook, cook. I'll make a little bit of cordage whilst we're waiting. And we will eat that because we need it. Hang on to those. Got a little bit longer. Went from that. Right, fine. Okay, so another carrot seed. We're getting quite a nice little build up there. Uh, 21. Let's keep on that. Feathers, we've got eight. Oh, actually, I could probably do with more than that. No, hang on to the scrap. Okay, you've got that in your inventory for a reason. I can't remember how many of those I have now. We've got ourselves all confused. Right. Ammo. Medicinal herbs. Right, are we back? We're back. There you go. Oh, for the second time ever. 44 nails. Did I pick up 44? Surely I didn't pick up 44 nails. I must have had them left on me. I mean, you know, great if I did, but I'd be surprised. Okay, so we've got to wait for that to build up again. Mm hmm. I'm going to need to get some walls on this place, really, I guess. I'm trying to think. Uh, window, probably a window wall. Yes, I'm sidetracking myself. Okay. It happens. Quite a lot, actually. Uh, you will be a wall. <laughs> Until you can get to the point of being able to put glass up. Putting balls up <laughs> just means that you lose the view. Oh, doesn't that sound sad, but that's how it feels. I really, I don't, yeah, I don't want to miss that view. Uh, another wolf, oh, some more. Yeah, you see, if we do the veranda round the outside, then these can be used to get access to start it. I've got to decide where effectively my door was going to be. And I thought... I thought I thought that it could be up here. Let's take you. I don't know if it's ADHD brain or what it is, but I am very easily sidetracked. I apologise. For people who have a plan each time when they start a game, an episode, and stick to that plan, I apologise, I'm not that person. So, oh, the only problem with taking it from there and using a curve piece is I want it to come straight down, don't I? I kind of want it to be like that do I and then the stairs could go down there do we think that's going to work whilst that finishes crafting let's have a little look I may have already done this off camera and decided that it didn't work I 
cannot remember. I know it's one of the things I thought I was going to try. Right, don't step back any further. That wolf over there obviously thinks that I can't manage it twice in a row and figures that he's fairly safe getting closer and closer to me. Can't say I disagree with him, but... So if we do this, where does this bring us down? Oh, well, that's, that's not too bad, actually. That kind of works. Because it means the entrance... Oh, yeah, you're down there. The entrance will come up here. Can I still get to my... Have I now just managed to stop myself from reaching my plants? Mmm, sort of. Yeah, so you're going to have to come up further, aren't you? I, I'm, I'm struggling uh, with not building right next to water, I have to say. I, I think I have... Have I always built next to water? Possibly I have. I'm struggling to think of a profile where I haven't. I can't get in there. Oh. This is annoying. You're just going to have to not fall. You know, like, not fall. There we go. See? Easy. <laughs> so yeah, I think that I foresee making several more canteens possibly quite soon. Uh, because this is uh, going to get to be a bit of a pain. Oh, can I put you back here for a minute? Uh, to be honest, I just need to stick you somewhere for the moment so I can put this up there. And get back up. Get back up, she says. It's got to be easier, right? There we go. Still over there, Mr. Wolf. So, if we tidy this up a little bit by putting this uh, somewhere where it doesn't want to snap. Oh, come on. There. And move you. Yes, I know I was making walls. I know. It's all right. I'm probably annoying myself more than I'm annoying you right now. Yeah, no, that's not going to work there. Hmm. Why would it not snap to the edge of this? Maybe I just hadn't put it in the right place. Wait, you tried to snap. Okay. Right. Okay, for now. Look, this is enough. We are wasting the day. Buffing around with a planter. Uh, so much so that now we need some more protein. Right, can we put you back on here? Yeah, I, I just. I'm happy to run you out if it means that I can get. Oh, I'll tell you what, if we're going to do that, how many more do we want? Nine. We just want 11. Oh, that's not 11, that's 11. Okay, well that makes 20, so uh, my, my, obviously I can't add up today. But we really do need, seem to have spent the entire day doing absolutely nothing. Well, it wasn't nothing. I managed to get a wolf. I actually managed to get a wolf. I guess the problem is, early game, there's... There are days like this. You can have days where you are grinding away and it seems that you're doing nothing that's of note or pretty or whatever and nothing that's exciting. Then there are days when you have a plan and you set out with purpose and 
completely fail to achieve that purpose. Then there are the days when the unexpectedly good happens. Those are sweet days. So I guess, again, it's just all the mix. I just feel it doesn't make for very interesting watching. Let's just put that there for the moment. But, um, oh, really, that was a really stupid place to put it, actually. But it is part of the game. Uh -huh. Also, you know, I'm sure you'll appreciate, I am very new at recording and therefore trying to think about making the content interesting and you know as well as I was going to say informative but as I said I don't particularly I know I'm not necessarily going to be teaching anybody anything watching uh, watching my videos where did that wolf go by the way who's up there Oh, we're not going to do it in the dark, are we? But there's a box. I don't want to do another wolf. I just want to do the, get the box. Crouch. That's always the problem I have, is that I forget. I have an absolute freeze as to which button is going to make me stand up. And I just crouched there like an absolute lemming, looking at the bear or wolf or whatever it was that I was crouching to carefully avoid. And, uh, yeah. Get stuck. Gosh, well, I think that really was a very unsatisfactory day. So, other than the wolf, and yeah, okay, it was, you know, maybe that would be the, the whole point and the name of the episode, but... It, um, yeah. Doesn't feel that we got much achieved. So, mass fabricator, eh? Wow. I suppose we'll put you next to the power generation. There's the your similar beasts. Gosh. Can't believe I've made one of them. No, not in that box. This box. Uh, I see my pick is going... Oh, that needs repair. Yeah, let's repair the bow. That's not a bow. Let's repair the bow. Uh, pick axe. And what was it? Oh, my days. There was something that I said when I was running around. There was something that I said I needed to make. was so the workbench next is ten, 8 10 and 10 I think that has to be what we're going for we have ah no oh. do you know what sometimes I think I really ought to write notes down okay we were making mass storage because we can't make the workbench without 120 mass which means we need mass storage so the reason we need to make mass storage was for that. So what did we say? 666, six, six, isn't it? 666, six, the number of mass storage. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That will be that. And then we will then be able to work on the workbench. Okay. Um, I should have got water earlier. This is going to be a chilly run, right? The wolf's up there. But I don't really want to have to go through the night. Oh, canteens! There you go! Look at that! See? Who said she's got a memory like a sieve? Canteens. We need to make canteens. And then the fact that we are not so near to water as I would like to be I mean ultimately this being me and my penchant for walkways the idea is that the balcony that will come all the way round will 
have an offshoot and the offshoot will go to the grub tree and then to the water's edge and ultimately 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 with the help of some bcu range extenders when it goes down towards the grub tree and on that is where i will have plants and animals and all other good things that we want to keep out of reach of hunters <clears throat> so canteens uh scrap and cordage so if we make one two three i reckon and that should be enough these away that should be enough for us to top up each time and then come up and use to fill up the the beds yes i think that sounds like a good idea i'm going to replace the tomato carrot because we can and because that will top us up and then yeah i think that's doing its thing and let's finish that on 18 which is all i need for a lock pick we'll let the power build back up again and make ourselves a lock pick and then head out either oh, i see lock crate area i probably will go down here and if i don't find one here we'll go over to there because i know that this new area is 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 quite a prolific spawn but i, I it's not so much that there's more animals down there, but I, I know this area fairly well and I, I'm a little bit more used to where the animals are and they're a little bit easier to avoid. It, I still think the new area has... It's given a lot with loot and with ore and lock crate spawns and it's got a cougar and, and all sorts of things like that. But I think that the, the amount of animals in that small area is is you know with the ups and downs and hills and yeah there's a lot for them to hide behind so yeah i think possibly we'll do that we'll head out over there tomorrow i think well thanks for bearing with me i apologize that this hasn't been the best episode maybe i should have waited a little bit longer from my <laughs> my um rather um grindy subsistent week in real life before recording but thanks for watching it's been good to have you here and uh we will see you in the next episode bye, -bye now